with me and make me forget my sorrows. Mr. Ben's house, sir. Okay, sir. Reverend is back. Okay. He wants me to accompany him to your house. But since I'm here, he's coming. He said he wants to see you and your husband. What is wrong with you? Why didn't you tell him that my husband was my husband traveled? Why? Come on, don't have time for this. Please get dressed. Don't. Please. GMC, please. We can still do something before the Reverend comes. Come on. Yes. The distance between Reverend's house and this place is far. It's a little bit distant. Let's just go. We can still have some few times to round up before he comes. Please, I really want to have you. Let's go to the bedroom. Come on. Come on. You. Stop. Please. Just do it for my sake. Come on. Please. Go now! Please! Can't you hear, please? Go upstairs and get dressed. He's on his way here now. Go. <sighs> Just go now. This is not fair. This is not fair. <laughs> Put on your inner light. Let's have your driver's license, please. Oh, guys, it's already late. Allow me go. I your driver's know. license, please. Here. What about your particulars? Your vehicle particulars. Let's have them. Madam, where are you coming from this hour of the night? Oh God, what sort of nonsense question is that? How will you be asking me where I'm going this night? Are you the owner of my car? Madam, calm down. Let's see what you have in your boots. Calm down, madam. Okay, Oga, you know what? I beg you. Just, just allow me to. See, you can have this work. At least you can buy some. Madam, we are doing our work. Calm down. And let's see what you have in your boots. Okay, you're wasting. Oh, I'm not. Oh, God. I don't know. You cannot teach the police how to do their job. Okay, okay. You know what?
praise the Lord, somebody. Hallelujah. The Lord is worthy to be praised. Amen. Today is the day that the Lord has made, and we all are going to rejoice and be glad in it. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. God wants me to talk with us today from Jeremiah chapter 32, verse 17 through 19. The Lord would have me talk with you today on a very interesting topic. My little secret. Do you know what that word means? Have you ever thought about those things that somehow you've hidden somewhere in your life and you don't want them to be exposed just to anybody? You hide it somewhere possibly because of its potential danger or harm that it may bring into your life. What are you doing in the secret? What are those things that you do that you hide from the eyes of other people? I mean, just think about it. How faithful have you been to your spouse? How faithful have you been in your affairs with other people? This is because some people, all of a sudden, because of the secrets that they hide in their lives, they think, I will search out for time and revenge at all costs. So people feel, I don't want to be cheated. If my spouse thinks that he is smart, I want to show also that I can be smarter than him. I want you to remember one thing. Two wrongs can never make a right. What have you been doing in secret? God is watching you. If you don't repent and confess your sins today, your sin shall find you out. It is the word of the Lord. It is not my own word, but that of God. You, you, and you, you need to repent from your evil and turn to the Lord. You couldn't help yourself. Even now, you cannot help yourself. But I assure you, Jesus has the solution to that problem. We need to say, Jesus, at this moment, I surrender to you. Allow her. Let her come. She's not coming to me, but she's coming to Jesus. My sister, what is the matter? Let Jesus bring solutions to the issues of your life. I need to calm down because you need to understand the promise of God. He does promise that when we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us and cleanse us from all our unrighteousness. Jesus has the solution for you. Amen. <laughs> Reverend, on that fateful day I came to see you in the office. You remember? Good day, madam. Hey, Funke. How are you? Very well. Oh, I'm here to say the Reverend. Hope he's around. Yes. But do you have an appointment with him? Um, not really, but I need to see him. It's very, very important. Um, I'm afraid, madam, he won't be able to see you because he's almost on his way out. Funke, I know, 
But you just have to help me, okay? You just have to help me. I need to see him. If I don't see him, something will happen to me. Or do you want something to happen to me? Uh, okay. Wait a minute. Let me see if you have a few moments to spare. All right. Thank you. Wow! Yeah, they go right in. <laughs> oh, thank you. For you're welcome. I'm so grateful. You're such a nice lady. You thank know, you. I love you. <laughs> Thanks. Thank you. Good morning, Reverend. Kama Brown, good morning. Please do have a seat. Thank you. And how is your husband? Sir, he's fine. He's doing fine. Mm. Then to what do I owe this visit? Hmm. Reverend, so many things on my mind. I just needed to see you. Okay. I'll tell you one or two things. And excuse me, Reverend. Yeah. Your flight is for 1245. And it's already 1130. I think you should take your leave now because um, your luggage is already in the car and everything is set. Wow, GMC? Uh, Come on. How? Is this you? Reverend, <laughs> this is unbelievable. Um, what are you doing here? No, I should be asking you what you are doing here. Um, this is my church, and he is my reverend. Um, you know, it's a small world, and um, here we are. Mm, I can see you know each other. Is she was my cosmate back then in the university. It is indeed a small world. Ah, I just need to respond to what you have told me. Kama. Sir. Sorry that I have to leave. Well, you have your friend here, and uh, he's recently been posted to us on a very high recommendation. Wow, that's nice. So please do well to relate with him properly. And uh, I do know that at my return, he's going to give me feedback. And I do promise also, I'm coming to see you and your husband. All right, sir. So Thank please, you. you take care of yourself as I go on this trip. And uh, Pastor, please make sure that things go well. Yes, sir. All right. Safe right. trip, yeah. sir. Thank you. See you. Oh, come on. Please sit down. I'll meet you soon. All right. So, sir, um, It's good to see you again. Yes. <laughs> and after all these years, you still look beautiful. Really? Oh, thank you. You know, it was like a lifetime apart. But here we are again. But how come you ended up a pastor? It's the Lord's doing and um, it's marvelous in our eyes. Just like that? I was about going for lunch. I don't know if you don't mind joining me. Why not? I'll be very honored a place to dine with a highly recommended pastor like you. Come on. JMC. You have not stopped this, <laughs> your flattering attitude. Okay, um, after you. Please. All right, thank you. JMC, <laughs> you have not changed. So, tell me, where have you been and um, what have you been up to? Well, traveled out of the country for my masters. Then after that, I came back, fell in love, got married like two years now. I'm a happy <laughs> housewife. 
No kids yet. Wow, that's nice. So um, you're now a family woman. <laughs> yes. You know, things must be going on well with you. Get us um, a juice and um, some meat pie. That's okay by you, right? right? Thank you. So, what is it you wanted to discuss with the Reverend? Well, it's about my family. Family? I thought you said you're living no, happily. No, 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 no. hello. GMC, things are not going on the way I want it. I am not happy at all. So, um, you can talk to me. God is here to help. Well, six, six months after our marriage, my husband changed. He's not the same man I used to know. His care for me diminished. His job took place of my love. I just don't understand this whole thing. What's in my ear? Really? You're welcome. Hope you are in good health. And I hope you do understand with me. Let me go and microwave your food. Sorry, don't worry. I will do that myself. But for now, I'm not hungry. I have a lot of work to do on my laptop.
already set. Yes. So let me just quickly prepare the breakfast uh, for you. Okay? No stress, honey. There is an emergency. I have to catch the first flight to Antigua this morning, and I'll be back tomorrow. I'm waiting to attend. What? Mr. Brown, what is wrong with you? What is going on? I am tired of this situation. What? What do you? What do you really take me for? Just talk to me. What do you take me for? A housemaid? Or what? Why, why, why are you doing this to me? Why? I am sorry. I'll come back tomorrow. I'll make up. Eh? I'm sorry. Uh, uh, I have to go now. Kama, you are crying. Kama, you are crying so obvious. You are crying again. Kama. My dear daughter, there is nothing too difficult for God to do. God is in your situation. Calm down. Stop crying. Stop crying. We are not going to achieve anything by crying. Nothing we achieve by crying. Rather, we will achieve more on our knees. Let's learn to talk to God on our knees, Kama. Relate your problem to God on your knees. The Bible says, Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden. I will give you rest. When the Bible says, come unto me, he means come unto me with everything. He is God. He is not a man that he should lie. Relax, my daughter. There is nothing too difficult for God to do. It's just a matter of time. You will testify of God's goodness over your marriage. It is well with you. You see, I was actually on my way to church. I just say, let me come around to see you. Hmm? Please, it is well. It is well with you. My baby, smile for me. Smile for mommy. That's my girl. It is well. Jesus is already in control. It is well with you. It is well. By this time, just get yourself there. Please, you don't have your time today. Too. What's up with you this morning? Let me walk. So, <laughs> you know that? Well, no job today, so I decided to give myself a little treat. <laughs> <laughs> Sabi, you won't kill me, oh. I better go, not die. You really love it, Ah, uh, not my fault. <laughs> Well, you don't left that actually. I bought you something on my way here. Is it not too early for you to be shopping? Says who? Where did they sign it? Is it their money? <laughs> <laughs> it's 
for a B. Mm. Oh, but this is nice. Pocket mirror. Yeah. That's cool. I like it. Mm. Hey, mm. babe, I'm looking very horrible. Gorilla. <laughs> <laughs> I want to show you what to call. My dear, just stand up, stand up, stand up, stand up. Stand up. Go and get dressed. Stand up to do what? Get dressed. I want to take off. Let's just go to uh, the cinema to watch you. Wow, Sabi, that's a nice idea. Yes, because you're Come on, give so me well. five. <laughs> that. Thank you. Just mm. give me some few minutes, okay? Let me dress up. Few minutes, your sister's in there. I feel like, come on, get out of this place. <laughs> you started again. Oh, you started again. Come, 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 come. So. Babe, I'm very, very, what did they say? Do you have anything in this house? I am very hungry. You know you're a fool. Same to you. Yeah? Same. Don't you know the way to the kitchen? No, I forgot. Your banana head. Bunga. Go to the kitchen Come and get your food. Yes. I'm coming. Eh? Alright. Oh, my. You're just, I don't know. Let's go. Let me tell you. Are you sure you, you, you don't want to kiss somebody? How? I just wish Mr. B was here. <laughs> well, I am glad to inform you that I, Kama, was looking sexier and hotter than this last night. But you know what he did? This me. <laughs> He never noticed my shadows, not to talk of my full flesh. Seriously? You mean he didn't even notice you at all? At all. Uh, Be bona. He needs help. <laughs> Serious help. I just, maybe those Abuja babes will help him out. What's up with you and this Abuja thing? Business, of course. Oh, uh, well. He's hard working and I just wish he's worth it. <laughs> well, he's hard working fine, but I wished he worked hard as much in this marriage. I really pity for him. I feel for him anyway, but I pity for myself more. Babe, you know why? Because right now I don't even know my stand anymore. I don't know where I am standing. <laughs> you stand. Babe, okay. Stand up. Stand up. Stand up. Let's now. go now. Mm, don't worry, stand up. Babe, have you looked at yourself at the mirror today? Babe, since you shave ballast, you full grand. <laughs> Nobody. Nobody will take your place. Oh. Savvy, savvy. Oh, give me five. Oh, what does it say? See, nobody got anybody from Shaking them off our stars. Oh, no, 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 They go for my country, you. You don't go low, people don't go low. A tree so low, no easy, no money, you. No light to you, but anchor, you know the flow. If you vex you, then go home. I never tell you, never tell you, me, oh, show me. Checking kick base, so kill. Checking them off as that. Checking kick base, so kill. Checking them off as that. I'm out to you, Joe, I let's Shaking kick base so kill Shaking them all faster
Of my bone. Oh, my sweetheart. Mm. This is for you. I am very, very sorry for all that happened to this morning. I am very, very sorry. Interestingly, when I got to the office, our trip to Abuja was cancelled. I had to step back to treat one or two documents. This I'm very, very sorry. And here I am now. I'm home. Honey, I'm very sorry. Sweetie, you know you have not been nice to me. Yes, you keep apologizing to me every time and you keep doing the same thing. It's not fair. Imagine you put yourself in my shoes. What will you do? Honey, I'm very sorry. I apologize. Honey, I'm sorry. Okay. Then you just have to give me full assurance that whatever happened today will never happen again. With all my heart, it will never happen again. Never again. Sure. I promise you. Mr. Brown, you know I love you so much. Oh. Not you. Oh. And I don't want you to hurt me. Mm. You just go inside, refreshing up, and I'll go to the kitchen and prepare you something to eat. Hmm? <laughs> Sweetie, you now have a lipstick. And then those things. <laughs> just wait, I'll, I'll come here. I can wait. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Sweetie, I love this so much. It's Thank beautiful. Thank you. That's a silver. Mm. A tiger? It's all for you. <laughs> Where will I place this? I think it will go right. The choice is yours. Yeah. No. <laughs> yeah. Can you see that? That's me there. Beautiful. <laughs> Come in. Honey, I'm so famished. Please hurry up. Don't worry, I know you're hungry. You just give me like um, four minutes and I'll get your food to you, okay? It's okay. So tell me, how was the office today? Splendid. And we worked very hard to achieve the contract. Wow. We almost lost it to our competitors. How? But then, here's the good news. Okay. Our bank actually came in to sponsor it. Wow, that's, that's a big contract then. Yeah, we've applied for a loan for a long time, but they came in. And our clients are all impressed. Oh, that's wonderful. I mean, that's miraculous. And then our MD was so pleased. <laughs> that he said we should all go home today and have rest. <laughs> 
But why wouldn't he be happy? He would. At least he won this big contract. And you know what? You are a hard working man. And that is why you deserve this. God bless the day I met you. <laughs> Thank God I have you all to myself today. Sweetie, I love you. I love you too. Let me get the food for you, okay? It's okay. You don't talk, so just eat your food. <laughs> See me? Yeah. But darling, you know what? What? I know I'm going to be very, very humorous, you know? Mm -hmm. One of the worst things that can happen to any family is for a father to marry an ugly wife. <laughs> the children can't forgive their father at all. Because what they will have is wrong species. They'll be looking or 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 error error error. And that is why I picked you. Sidi, you're not bad too. Thank you very much. I know you're a handsome man. Yeah. And then, for sure, you know we're gonna have uh, three children, two boys and a girl. No, 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 no. I disagree with you. I'm going to have. We are going to have. Okay, we are going to have. Two boys and two girls. Balance equation. That is what I call quadratic equation. <laughs> <laughs> sweetie, sweetie. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, sir. Mr. Brown. Good day. How are you doing? And your wife? We're fine, sir. Thank you. Good. I am on top of the world and you did wonderfully well yesterday. Thank you, sir. Thank you so very much, sir. I'm really proud of you. The minister called to inform me that all contracts must commence on Monday. Okay, okay sir, but... I'm really sorry. But I need you in the office now, so that we can start putting things together. But, sir? I know. I did say. But since the minister called, it is wise that we start cracking. Just clear yourself away from that your beautiful wife for a few hours. Oh, okay, sir. I will join you, sir. Mr. Balogu. I know, so what? He wants me in the office now. Baby, but this is weekend for Christ's sake. Darling, I do understand. But please, take it easy with me. Huh? Come on. Just a few hours and I'll be back. You keep talking about your job. Do you love your job more than me? Honey, this is not fair. You know I don't. What? But what? 
You just apologized to me that you will not hurt me. Come on. If I don't trust you to keep your words, then what? Come on. You need to be patient with your husband. He's only trying to fend for the family the best way he can. What family are you talking about? Is it the family he's about to lose? Come on, tell me, JMC. Will you prefer your job to your family? Will you let, let your job take over your family? Come on. You see, have you, have you tried talking to him? Because communication is very important in every marriage. I think there is nothing to it. Yes, that's what he believes. That's my fear. My fear are unfolded. Hey, I know that your world is torn in apart, but God is in control. Okay? And um, this is um, a family matter, so you need to talk to somebody. A family member, like the mother, the father, the sister, someone he's close to. And if nothing happens, then we can come in as members of the church. Or, what do you think? Do you think this will really work? Huh? Do you think so? Okay. I will try and talk to someone. Yes, because this is not the marriage I planned since I was a child. I've always dreamt of successful marriage. I'm in good home. I'm really getting tired of the whole thing. I am tired. The one thing I want you to be rest assured is God is in control. Okay? GMC, I'm very grateful. You are such a nice person. Thanks for the food. Thanks for the words of encouragement. Thanks for everything you have done for me. I mean, the most especially, the wonderful smiles you always put on my face anytime we are together. <laughs> That's what friends are for, okay? So why don't you eat up, then um, I'll drop you back in the church. Oh. Yeah. It is good. <laughs> Oh, so bad, daughter. So bad. So bad. Mom, I just want him to come back home. Don't worry. He will. He will come back. Come, Ma. I have always told you. Marriage is not a bed of roses. But you can make it one, or better still, a bed of thorns. I know, Mom. But Ben has made it a bed of thorns for me. I know he must make a living. But I also have my needs, and he does too. But I don't know if he, he... He's doing nothing. Daughter, he's doing nothing. I have always told you, learn to trust your husband. Learn to trust your husband. You know, Ben works so hard. Moreover, where is he now? Huh. Mom, Ben left home this afternoon. And this is... 10 p.m. He's not yet back. Come on, calm down. I'm going to call him right away. Hmm? You know what? Everything will be okay. Hmm? I'll call you back. All right, Mom. Thank you so much. Hello, mamalistic mama. 
Good evening, my one and only son-in-law. How are you? Fine, ma. Hope all is well. You never called this late. Yes, my son. All is well. I just spoke with your wife now. And she said you are not yet back from work. So I felt like giving you a call. Wow, ma. <laughs> ah. And I never knew our time has gone this far. I've been quite busy with my MD in the office. I am very okay, my son. I understand you are a very hard working man. Very, you work hard to feed for your family. But first thing first, your wife is all alone at home at this time of the night. And being a weekend, the two of you are supposed to have been together. So, please. Hey, 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 don't misquote me. That does not mean you shouldn't take your work serious. All I am saying is that you have to do things in order of priority. Please, son, go home. Go and give your wife what belongs to her. <laughs> your wife needs you. Your wife needs it. Please go home, Ben. Ben, are you still there? Yes, ma, I'm still here. I do understand all you said. Even more than you think. I appreciate you, my friend. Thank you very much. So next, I'll be talking with you again, ma. Oh, thank you, my son. I know I can always count on you. Thank you, mama. Thank you for your concern. It is well. Thank you, son. Good night. Yes, I think I have to leave now. It's okay. Anyway, we are almost through. I will do what is left, and on Monday, we put finishing touches to it. Thank you, sir. Okay. Send me well to your wife. Thank you very much, sir. You are the best MD in the whole world. Yes. Who is that? You're welcome. What is the meaning of so, this? So, calling your other man is the end of So, it's going to the next night. You now share our family challenges with outsiders. Is now an outsider. My mother is now a stranger to you. Mr. Ben Brown, look at me very well. I am tired of all this, your fake life. Honey! Ah! Who's it? Come on. What are you doing in my house? On that way. Sit down, sit down. Sit down. What happened? And why are you like this? husband beats me up. What? Why? I just don't know. I don't know what I did to him. I don't know what I did to him. For the first time, for the very first time, my husband laid his hands on me. He turned to an animal overnight. <laughs> All because I hit to your advice and told my mom about it. 
the conversation. The call didn't go well with them. That's why beat me up. I guess bringing a third party into your marriage wasn't the best option. Okay? But you need to go back home. Okay? You really need to go home. Please. I'll take you home myself and talk to your husband. Oh, I can't, I can't go back to the house. Not again, I can't. But you can't stay here. Look, you know what? If you don't want me to stay in your house, then I don't know. I can't go to the house. It's 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 not like it's not like that. But you just have to go. You know? Come on, come on. It's, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Please stop. Please. 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 <laughs> come on, come on, come on. Get a hold on yourself, please. Hey, 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 hey. Put yourself together, okay? Hey, I'll, I'll just let you be and uh, um, just put yourself together, alright? I'll be with you soon. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Come on. Good morning, come on. Yeah. Good morning, Pastor James. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. I hope you slept well. Oh, yes. I slept like a baby. And you? I thank God for His grace. Um, GMC, I thank you for last night. I'm so grateful. I mean, where would I have gone to? I just didn't know where to go. I didn't know whom to talk to. I just needed to come here because I needed your words of encouragement. And, you know, you really melt my heart. Come on. I need to go to church now. And I want you to go to your house now. You see, I'm a single brother. And I'm a pastor. It, it wouldn't speak well of me harboring a married woman in my house. I know, JMC. I know you don't want me in this house. But fine, I will leave. Don't worry, I promise you, by the time you come, you won't find me here. I'll go to a friend's place. Come on. I'm sorry, but you need to understand. Um, I'll pay your husband a visit. And also find out how you're faring. When you're leaving, deposit the key under the footmat. Please, go home straight. Don't branch anywhere. Okay? All right. Thank you. Please remember to put me in prayers. Sure. That's the most important thing.
Mr. Ben. Good morning. Good morning. He's coming. Don't, don't worry. Happy Sunday. Thank you. How is your wife? I'm supposed to be asking you, how is my wife? You don't play this kind of games with me on a Sunday. Mr. Ben, I mean, how is your wife? Sabi, if I'm told by anybody that my wife isn't in your house, I'll say over my dead body. What happened? My wife ran out of the house. We had a little misunderstanding. And I've even been to, to her mother's house. The mom calls, she's not picking her calls. I have been to the church, yet nowhere I can see her. Ah. Oh God, your wife is not here for God's sake. She's not here. Please, Sabi, you are the only one that can call her, please. And then she will respond. Assist me. I don't have airtime on my phone. Eh? I will go and buy when I finish taking my bath. Then I'll call her. I, I can get you credit, please. Don't worry. Just go home. I promise I'm going to get your wife before the day runs out. Is it a promise? Sure. Just take my word. Let your heart not be troubled. I'll come. Mr. Ben, go home and calm down. Calm down. Trust me. Trust me. Mr. Ben, go home. Go home. <laughs> Babe, where are you? Where are you day? Just tell me first, tell me first. Okay, okay, it's not what we're going to talk about. Yes, we'll not talk about it on phone, but... No. He was here, but, but he has gone home. What? Babe, what did they do for that kind of place now? That's them too risky, oh. Why didn't you come to my house instead? Okay, just calm down. I'll, I'll be with you in a jiffy. All right. So that was it. Hey, it is the beating I don't understand. Ben, I don't know he's like that too. Hmm? My dear, tell me, has he ever beaten you since you got married to him? Ben, never. That I can vouch for him. I was even shocked when it happened. But I just have to run when I realize myself. It was getting down on me. Babe, the devil has set in. Hmm. Babe. Mm. There's a one call. Mm. Can you imagine? Mm. <laughs> I can never pick his call. Mm. Never. I don't even want to hear his voice. I don't want to see him. Stop <laughs> as much. I definitely will be in call. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Ben. Has she returned? Have you called her again? You call that little misunderstanding? If you love her so much, like you claim, why hurt her? All right, I'll try. That must be Ben, I guess. You're welcome. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon, my friend. If he really misses you and desperately searching for you everywhere, even in church, then I think he has learned his lesson. By the way, I 
did not think I'm going to see you here when I come back. JMC, let's change this topic of discussion. Let's change this topic. We are not changing the topic. Why? Not until you introduce your beautiful friend to me. <laughs> oh, sorry, forgive my manners. Well, this is Sabi. Sabi is my childhood friend. Very loving and nice lady. Hmm. You really like her. <laughs> Sabi, this is JMC, my senior. Hmm? Yes, of course. He saved me last night. Not only that, JMC is my old friend back in university. He is now a pastor posted to my church newly. Mm -hmm. See how God works. Um, J J M C J M C. <laughs> nice meeting you. Kama has told me so much about you, the man with the resilient voice. Tell me, <laughs> do you sing? Yeah, I still sing once in a while. But the my 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 recent engagement in the church. Is so demanding. I barely have time for music. Come on. Yeah. What about you? You know, <laughs> you used to be my model. <laughs> really? In those days. <laughs> well, Mr. Ben Brown happened to my music life. He stopped me from singing. Best known to him and him alone. I never knew that. Marriage could be this consuming. Don't say that. Marriage is beautiful. It was created by God from the beginning, for man. The only problem is, um, you know, we humans. If that's the case, why are you not married? <sighs> I'm waiting to hear from God. Me too. <laughs> Come on. You guys are <laughs> Um, JMC. Yeah. Do you still remember our duet back in school? It was the top of discussion in school. You remember? Memories. Memories too heavy to bear. In my lonely world, filled with darkness, depressed and confused, I saw a brand new light, I saw a brand new day, and I saw a brand new you. Whom I've been searching for I've been searching, searching, searching everywhere And here you are, and here you are Why are you searching, searching everywhere? When I am here, I am here with you. Why are you searching, searching, searching everywhere? When I am here, I am here with you. I've been searching, searching, searching everywhere. And here you are, and here you be. Why are you searching, searching, searching everywhere? When I am here, I am here with you. Why are you searching, searching? Searching everywhere When I am here I am here with you <laughs> Wow! 
Wow, that is beautiful. Thank you. Thank you, you Savi. So, JMC, you still have a touch. You're not bad yourself. <laughs> <clears throat> all right, all right. Come out there. Now your mood has improved. Back to Ben. Please. Come on. We all make mistakes. And when we realize it, we make amend. He has said he's sorry. Can't you guys get it? I don't want to see that man again. I don't want to go back to that house. Not in this world or the next world. GMC, you don't want me in this house, right? No, 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 not, it's, it's not like that, my good friend. We're best of friends. But running away from your marriage into my home is way too risky for you and I. Mm. Your husband loves you. Mm. And he wants you back. He adores you. Please, why don't you heed to his desire for you? Go back home. Come on. Come on, my dear friend. You're in for the best if you go back home and learn to control your emotion when it comes to tolerating your husband. We all love you, Kama. Trust our judgment. Hey guys, you better don't stay down there too long or your knees might get into something soft, you know. Traveled out of the country, and the children have come back to stay. Oh, Auntie, you're really enjoying it. <laughs> <laughs> so, how is your husband? He's doing well. He has gone to work. It's good to have you around again, my dear. Thank you. <laughs> As if you all planned it. Almost all the women in the church has been coming to know why I've not been in church for a week now. That's nice. You can't believe it. <laughs> Until you know why? That's because you were a nice woman. You were such a good woman. Mm. Especially for your selfless advices, your humility. Mm. Not every rich woman can do that. Trust me. Riches? Yes. <laughs> Riches is of the Lord, my dear. What, what do I have that I should talk about riches? My dear? We all came into this world with nothing, and we will practically live with nothing. You are very, very right. I wonder why some people raise their shoulders. Why is there nobody? You know the proverb that says, the empty vessels make the loudest noise. <laughs> it's very true. My dear, <laughs> it's God who I'm blessed, <laughs> and I'm grateful to him. <laughs> Thank God for that. Thank you. Yeah. There is something I notice about you. Really? You are a woman that don't mess 
church activities. But for some few days now, I don't see you around and I wonder. So I just decided to pay you a visit to know how you were doing. Hope all is well with you. All is well. I only went to Dubai to buy some goods and some things held me back. But I'm back now. Wow. <laughs> it's nice having you back. Thank you. Auntie. Yes, dear. Hope you bought some goody goodies for me. <laughs> Are you just asking? I bought beautiful things for people like you. You know that. Wow. <laughs> I can't wait to see them. Really? Many of them in different colors. <laughs> and do you remember the shoes? Wow. That's it. Yeah. The one you bought from me. <laughs> it's one of my favorite shoes. That's it. Though. And you're maintaining the shoes. Sure. Beautiful. It's still it's nice. <laughs> you know what? Yes. I'll show you more. Really? Colorful ones. Oh, I, I, I can't wait. Bags. I can't wait. <laughs> Okay, by his grace. I'm in the office. I just called to check up on you as I promised you. Oh, thank you so much. I'm very grateful. We are doing very well. We are doing, in fact, we are now like bread and butter. Bread and butter? <laughs> That's a nice combination. I'm glad to hear that. Uh, I don't need to ask how he's doing, right? Yes, he's doing fine. In fact, he's gone to the office. In that case, um, you just take good care of yourself, okay? I will. All right, have a blessed day. Okay. Are you okay? It's okay. So is everything okay? I'm fine. Um, how may I help you? You have a visitor. Oh, let them in. Let them in. Um, Alright. Funke. Sir. Who is it? It's Mrs. Ikena. Oh, Mrs. Ikena. Uh, please let her in, eh? Alright. Beauty, what a surprise visit. Yes. I came to drink water from your house. <laughs> so why don't you fetch me some? Oh! <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm highly honored. <laughs> Let me quickly get the water for you. <laughs> wow. Mm. Wow. 
Thank you. You're welcome. <sighs> I'm so happy. Yeah. I guess your husband is at work. Yes. Yeah. Sister Kama, I thought I encouraged you to visit me more often. Why did you stop coming or even taking my calls? I'm sorry, Ma. And see, it's just it's just that your words, your words of advice are always too heavy on me. They are too hard for me to carry. Every time I come back home, I must cry. Then you must be guilty in a way. No, uh, Auntie, that I can't really tell. I can't, I don't know. But I just don't know what to do. I'm so confused. I'm confused right now if to stay in this marriage or to have out of the marriage. Oh dear. You don't say that. Marriage is a lifetime institute. All you need to do is to make it work once you're in. And you're passing through all this and you kept it away from me? And see, I'm pretty sorry. I just have to keep my mouth shut. Because the last time I discussed our issues with my mom, my husband was not happy about it. And for the very first time, he slapped me. He beat the hell out of me. He also confirmed it that since he was born, he has never laid his fingers on any woman. That was the first person. But anyway, he apologized and promised never to do that again. And also warned me not to get him offended. I forgive him thinking that he would change. But Auntie, he became worse than any other thing I've ever come across. For 10 days now, my husband has not been in this house. He went for a business trip, which is supposed to take two days. Auntie, this is 10 good days he's not here. What have I done? Where have I gone wrong? What should I do? He said that I am not beautiful enough for him as a man to keep. I think he prefers those gold diggers outside there. <laughs> that is it. Cry more. Cry. Go on. More. Keep crying. Keep crying. Auntie Beauty. Did you just say I should cry more? What were you expecting to hear from me? Stop crying. Oh, forget it. You don't expect me to tell you to stop crying when you cause the tears yourself. A woman builds her home herself, remember? Come on, my dear. I don't need you to narrate to me before I know you have problems in your marriage. From the way you boldly threw questions at me the last time you came to my house, I knew you were not getting your husband's attention. Come on. Your husband is busy, suffering and working for you and building his future. And you sit here and talk about quitting the marriage. Then quit. No, don't even think about it. Just quit. Quit and see if the road will not be closed against you before you think of returning. You stop coming to my house because you hear the truth. You prefer going to your peer groups to get wet jokes than listening to boring and dry advice from elderly ones. When you refuse to learn marriage before you jump into it, 
you will be forced to learn a marriage. Come on, my dear. Be wise. Be wise so you don't fall into wrong hands. I told you how I make my home comfortable for my husband the few times I have him around. He must not return home to you every time to tell you how sorry he is for staying out late all because of your bad mood. Make your home lively. Get used to his schedules and enjoy every moment you spend with him. Kama. Auntie, I'm sorry. I'm here. I'm listening. Learn to make yourself happy all the time. The joy of marriage does not lie in the hands of the husband, but you. Running out of this marriage is not the best bet for you. You are still very young. Remember, you have several years ahead to spend with him. Don't ruin it with your own hands. Plan ahead. Rise and take your marriage in your palms. Nurse it and build the best out of it. Okay? At that moment, I thought a new day has come for me. But you rather know, the moment she left me, every single word she said to me, I threw it away. And that childish mentality was, was still done on me. GMC, you're welcome once again. Um, I'm sorry I'm coming now. I just saw your text message and missed calls. I hope all is well. <laughs> How can all be well? GMC, I told you that this man will not change. He will not change. For two weeks now, he has been away. No calls, no text messages. But is this nice? But all this while we have been talking on phone, you never told me he has been away. And um, by the way, have you called or texted him? I didn't. And I will not try it. Yes. But it's not supposed to be so. JMC, I don't trust Ben anymore. And if I don't trust him, how can I love him? I told you this man is married to his job. And. He sleeps around with all the prostitutes in Abuja. Come on, please, calm down. Ben has proven to me that he doesn't want my body. My commitment, my love, not even my faithfulness to him. Can you please take in breath and let me talk, okay? Please. No, I can't continue to live in this house all alone. GMC, I am tired of masturbating at the thought of your tender touch. Please, make love to me. Jesus Christ. I beg you. Come on. We can't do that. I'm a pastor. Am I not beautiful enough for you too? It's, it's not it. But I'm not comfortable with it. You're a married woman. We were not opportune to do this during the school days. But now we can. Remember how you used to yearn for my body all those years. And I always denied you of it. Think about all those tender romantic moments we had together. You are the man. 
that can make me feel like a woman. Come on. Please. Make me scream. Lay with me and make me forget my sorrows. Hello? Good day, sir. You're back? Uh, uh, my house? No, no, no. Uh, Mr. Ben's house, sir. Okay, sir. My friend is back. Okay? And he wants me to accompany him to your house. But since I'm here, he's coming. He said he wants to see you and your husband. What is wrong with you? Why didn't you tell him that my husband was... My husband traveled? Why? Come on. Don't have time for this. Please, get dressed. Don't. But, GMC, please. We can still do something before the Reverend comes. Come on. Yes. The distance between Reverend's house and this place is far. It's a little bit distant. Let's just go. We can still have some few times to round up before he comes. Please, I really want to have you. Let's go to the bedroom. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. You. Stop. Please, just do it for my sake. Come on. Please. Please. Go no. Please. Can't you hear, please? Go upstairs and get dressed. He's on his way here now. Go. <sighs> just go now. This is not fair. This is not fair. If I we are the official guy for this house, God gives you a call. I don't have any money in this house. Yes. And my husband is not even around. Your husband is not around. So what do you want me to do for you? Last is for say that. Who kill you? Ah! Ida! Ida! Kill her, Abel! Where are you going? Hey! Uh, okay, okay, wait. Yes, mm, I have some money. Some jewelries. And a laptop. That's all I have. Jerry! I even get a laptop. I fish young for this house. Lies today, yeah? here. They waste my time. It's my Laba ah. woman. Laba mm -hmm. woman. Ah. Come on, come on for here. Go, go, go. See ya, la. I can't see this, this. I can't see. It's maybe this. I lost your Allah. Why are you going like this? Allah, no retreat, no salada, what? That that's it. Allah Amma, Allah Amma, you be my babe, Ubu, you show me, my country, the Norish, ta, the Norish, not the epa, anything we pa la wish, I'm a lover. You don't be, you don't be, at once. Uh -huh. Jay! 
and lured Pastor JMC into his own death. <laughs> yes, I killed him. I killed him. I killed him. I pushed my wife into committing sin. I killed him. I don't know what he's talking about. How? What do you mean? I am responsible for GMC's death. Yes, I have caused you so many pain in the past. I have done so much harm on you. And I wouldn't want you to suffer again. It is never my intention that you suffer or preferring my job against you. Baby, you should know that I've been thinking of the things you do. Every word you say makes me wanna rise and never fall again. Girl, you make me wanna sing your love. Gotta do it now. It doesn't matter how it turns out to be. It's burning in my heart and making me go mad. It doesn't matter how it turns out to be. Hello, Precious. Good morning, sir. Good morning. How are you today? Fine, thank you, sir. Have you done the work I gave you yesterday? It's ready, sir. Okay. Uh, what about Ben? Uh, sir, he went to... Yeah, is there a boy? He went to pick something up. Oh, you are trying to cover up for no, him? No, 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 sir. Now, tell me. Where is Ben? Sir, he's on his way coming. For the past three days, Ben has not been in this office. All because of a lousy marriage I know nothing about. The moment he comes in, tell him to see me in my office. Yes, sir. Yes, hello, 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 Ben. Hello, Ben, where are you? Precious? Yes, sir. I'm coming, sir. You mean Mr. Ben is not here yet? Sir, just stay with him right now. He's on his way for me. Just trust me. He will stay. Are you looking at your time? In the morning, you told me that it was closed. But he's not here yet. No problem. Go and write him the start letter. Make sure by the time I go tomorrow morning, it's no longer in his office. Okay? No! Nonsense! I have nonsense! Honey, are you okay? What is the problem? Please talk to me. No, now. What is all this now, for Christ's sake? Why now? Why? My MD said I pay more attention to my family. That my input at work has dropped. But he would have talked to you first, before dismissing you. I know he has been losing this plan for a long time. So what are we going to do? I don't know! I don't know. I don't know. Not to worry, my love. Something better will sure come up. I know you just lost your job. 
How would I not survive as a man? How would I survive as a man? Please calm down. I know, calm down. At least. For now, I can now enjoy the company of my new husband. Yes. Yes, come on. Let's go to the room. I have something. I'm gonna add this, add this one. Oh, that's right, nice. thank you. How much in all? Yeah, it's supposed to be one five, give me one time. Okay, no problem. Thank, thank you very much. Thank you. Some other time, how are we going to do that? Okay, I, I need to post it. Okay, okay. Green tape. Green tape. Yeah, thank you. 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 This is it. Don't worry. Thank you. Thank you, mother. Thank you. Samantha. Wow, Douglas. Nice to see you. I can't believe myself. Wow. What are you doing in Nigeria? Your dad never told me we're coming. Anyway, it's a surprise. I just came in last week. And what are you doing in fruit market? Anytime in Nigeria, this is why I buy my fruits. Oh, really? <laughs> really? Oh, this, she's a nice woman. She's a nice woman. Let me wait for you to finish up so that we can go good. together. Give me one minute. Madam, can I get one more time alone? Thank What about Some cherries? Great. Yes. Hey, what about this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course I need mm. Ah, uh, what about carrots? Yeah, carrots. yeah, of course we need it. Green pepper. Green pepper, tomato. Yeah. You're welcome. Thank you. How was the day? The day was fine. I actually called your phones, but they were switched off. Hmm. My phones were all on. Maybe network is on. Uh, what about your car? My car? Because I, I actually observed uh, your car was acting funny and uh, uh, like you didn't want to bother me. Yeah, 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 My car is fine. And what are you trying to get at? You married you, Mano. You will go out and come back late these days. You will have a very big shop that is blossoming. Eh? If I should be asked by anybody about your car, I, 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 I cannot actually say how you got it to. So that's your headache. There's supposed to be a husband and wife in this house. One of us is supposed to assume the responsibility of catching for this household. So how are we supposed to pay the rent, feed ourselves, not to mention others? Huh? I am still the breadwinner of this family. Just that. Uh, Just that. He is still looking for a job. Cheya. Seven months later, what happened? I am trying to keep us afloat. If you don't like it, be a man and do something about it. Excuse me. This must stop. This, this, this must stop. Me and Samantha were cool, but I never knew she was married until the day her husband caught us coming out of a hotel room. I was so humiliated that day. And since then, I swore never to have anything to do with ladies. So, what are you doing with me now? Love? Come on. When I say I love you, I really do. I love you, baby. I love you. I will never, never, never cease to love you. I'm serious. Come on. Hey, you know what? Yeah? Let's drink to our love.
Hey sweetheart, I'm planning to take you to my mom tomorrow. And uh, I have an issue. My elder brother is into drug addiction. And um, we've, we've tried to see how we can help him out. We couldn't. So that's why I said I have to make it a point of duty to search and to look for where you are. Okay. Yeah, and okay. that's why I'm here. Okay, what kind of addiction is he into? He's into drugs and uh, alcoholism. Not a specific drug? Yeah, he's into marijuana. Marijuana, okay, yeah. okay. Cool. That's um, Indian hemp. Yeah. Okay. Have you ever tried helping him, taking him anywhere? Yeah, we did, but he refused. He refused? Yeah. You told him you were bringing him yes. to rehab, isn't yes. it? That was a mistake. I, well, I don't think it's a mistake, really. No, it's not a mistake. Some of them come here and they're really mad that they lied to them and they refuse to stay. So sometimes it's better to tell them, but then they, they can refuse. Okay. So with uh, people like your brother who resist the help, yeah. Um, what we do with such people, because I don't like taking people who are not willing. Okay. If you bring an unwilling person to a rehab center like this, you may keep them here for 10 years. All you succeed in doing is detoxifying, okay. because they're not getting the drug into their system anymore. But you, you can't rehabilitate because they're not agreeing with the process. Okay. So what we try to do is befriend the person, make house calls, okay. and see if we can get the person to the point where they willingly okay. come. But if the person is less than 18 and we get them to the point where they are at least willing to come and see the place, if they come here, we can just keep them, uh, even though it's against their will, to an extent. Okay. Uh, for them to even agree to come and look at the place, it means that you have reached them somehow. So um, hopefully with your brother, I think we can try this approach, see if we can befriend him from home. But is this an NGO? Yeah, well, we operate both as an NGO and as uh, a business okay. because there are some people that can pay and there are some people that cannot pay. Mm -hmm. So if you like, we're operating on the model that the rich pay for the poor. Oh. So when the rich paying patients come, okay. we take the money they pay us, we stretch it to absorb a few who can't pay. So we're running um, both as an NGO and as a business. So um, concerning your brother, I think what we'll do is to try the befriending approach. So if you let me know when it's conducive for, for you, we can plan a house visit and come and see him and strike up a friendship from there so that by the time we're done, he will come willingly. Okay. Yeah, so nice. let's, let's start from there. That would be nice. All right. And let me get back to the family and see what we can do. Okay, that's Thank fine. you very much, man. And yeah. since you like the CDs so much, let me offer you one of them. Oh, thank you very much. I hope you'll enjoy the CDs. Yeah. All right. Have, have a nice day. Have Bye. Day. Bye. Coming from looking so spruced up. Mm, what are you going to? Mom. Came to see me. Yeah. Okay, sit down. Mm. And uh, so, mom, who, who is she? Yeah. Mom, this is Tamara, my new queen. Your new queen. Yes, mom. Hello, Tamara. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. So, I hope you're a Christian. Yes, mom. Did he tell you he's a Christian? Yes, ma'am. So where do you worship? The King's Assembly. Oh, okay. okay. I know the pastor. He's a good man. I hope you're listening to him very, very well. Yes, ma'am. Wow. So how long have you known this 
This is boring. It's a two months. Two months. Yes, ma'am. Two Douglas. Mm. Okay, well, okay, <laughs> fine. Okay, wow. Let's leave it there. Let's leave it there. Well, um, for you to bring that to me, it means that you're trying to be serious. Of course, ma'am. What? Well, what we used to see, you know. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, um, I've always taught to you about honor and integrity. Those are the two principles by which I live my life. And um, if you start out in a relationship with anybody and you put honor and integrity in front, then you stand a chance of doing good in the relationship. But if you lack those two, then no woman will ever be enough. Not her, not anybody else. So you have to put those two on the line for your relationship to have a headway and for you to young lady what i hear these days is the heartbreaking attitude of most young women oh it didn't work out so we called off the marriage as if it was a dress she just took off if you come into a relationship with that kind of an attitude you're likely to fail but if you if you decide look i'm coming into a relationship to serve god by serving the person that i'm in relationship with then you stand a chance so if that's where you people are in your hearts towards one another then I can only say that you, you stand a chance of making it work. And I commit to pray for you. Oh, I'm the best. I'm the best. I'm the only one you have. Do you have any other one? Don't have any other one. I'm the only one. I have to be the best. All right. Thank you. So he didn't even bother to wake me up. Isn't it obvious that you want me to go to my shop late today? Is that supposed to be a good morning or what? Is it a crime if you press me? Or oh, what's the big deal about this good morning anyway? Does it change the fact that you want me to lose my customers the same way you lost your job? So that we can put languish in the cells. What? Hmm? And all that happened. And she pleaded for forgiveness. And of course, I love her, and I forgive. By the way, I have already sworn that I would always love her, for better, for worse. On the death do us part, I showed her all my love. Little did I know that the worst was yet to happen, and that came. You know what? what? I want you to make. shall take me for a ride again until karma came my entire life changed but I chose to take my job seriously 
that I would ever go back to become a house husband again. But one day I got home to my own house only for me to meet JMC in my home all rumpled up with Kama's clothes on the floor. I saw red. It was like Samantha all over again. Good evening, Mr. Ben. So, you have been sleeping with my wife in my house. Your wife in your house? It's not what you think. Yes! I, I've never slept with her, sir. Please, don't, don't, don't let the devil use you. Let the devil use me! Let the devil use me! Hey! Give me my kitchen. Give me my kitchen. Give me my kitchen. It was an accident. It was a moment of madness. And all the anger of the past bottled up inside of me. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. It was all my fault. Please. Jesus. Hey, Pastor James. Pastor James, is this a ghost? He's alive. He's alive. GFC. My good people of God, a lot of things happened that same night. Hallelujah, somebody. Amen. I want you to remember, my dears, temptations and deceit come in different ways. But regardless, you must learn to hold firm to each other about your fears. Talk about the issues that you are facing. And there is this word I want you to get inside you. Trust. If you can build it around you, it is the only thing that can make your relationship to stick together at all times. Trust. Learn to trust your partner. It is the currency that you need to build confidence in yourselves and also in the Lord God Almighty. Learn also not to be quick to judge. Learn also not to jump into conclusions. Certain conclusions can bring certain outcomes and all of this will never or go well for your relationships. Above all, love. Think about the love of God. Think about how love endures all things. 
Think about how love covers a multitude of wrongs. Think about how love does not keep records. You don't need to ask these questions. Why? When? Where? Rather, you need to think again and ask yourself, if God will so love me that I continue to go wrong and wrong and wrong again, and God continues to love and love and love again, am I not supposed to be like him? Am I not supposed to behave like this same God towards my spouse? Really, I want you to think about what God is saying to you this moment. And I want you to make a decision, a decision to surrender unto the love of God that is manifested in Christ Jesus, God's only begotten son who came and died for your sins, for my sins, for all our errors, but he died so that God would provide solutions for all our problems. Turn away from your evil and take a bold step of faith. Please join me as you walk forward to the altar. You are not coming to meet me. You are coming to meet the Christ himself. You are coming to meet the one who is the author of your solutions in life. I don't have solutions for you. Jesus does have it for you. And he will save you.